Hi, I'm Simon, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use InVideo, the AI video creator that is seriously next level. Check this out. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Alien ships raining fire on our neon city. We suit up our exoskeletons humming. This is humanity's last stand. Energy blasts light up the night. The air thick with smoke and so I made this using InVideo AI, and trust me, I am not technical at all. All I did was enter a simple prompt, and the AI did everything else. It even cloned my voice. Listen to this. But then, a breakthrough. Our weapons find their weak spot. Honestly, I think that sounds pretty spot on, and I can clone my voice in over 50 languages. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create videos like this, all from a simple idea. I'll cover everything from setting up your account, writing your first prompt, customizing AI generated scenes, adding music and cloning your voice. So if you're ready, let's get started. And don't just watch, but actually follow along with me and then you'll be creating stunning videos in no time. So your very first step is to go down to the description of this video and click the link there to create your free InVideo AI account. Hit that link and you'll see this InVideo sign up page. Now let's click the generate video now button. Now let's enter our email and click create account. Now we need to verify our email. So go to your inbox, open up this email and then copy this code and then come back and paste it here. And again, click create account. Now enter your first name and InVideo will create a workspace for you. Let's hit continue. You'll be asked a couple of questions about how you'll be using InVideo and also for your date of birth. So now that's done, and here we are inside the InVideo workspace. So the first thing we want to do here is to make sure that we unlock unlimited access to all the InVideo features. So to do that, we need to choose a plan that works best for you. Let's start by clicking upgrade here in the top right corner. And if you'd like to explore all the pricing options in detail, then I will leave a link to this pricing page in the description below. I'm gonna go with the pro plan because it unlocks features like watermark free videos, access to premium footage, and even the ability to clone your own voice. So that's everything we need. And I'm going to choose the yearly option to get 20% off because that just seems like a no brainer. And now let's click get plus. Now you'll see a quick overview of the plan. And this includes an optional add-on for generative credits, which you'll only need if you're creating AI generated videos. And on the right side, choose your payment method, whether that's link or credit card, enter your details, and now let's hit subscribe. Perfect. Now we've activated our InVideo Pro account. The first thing I want to show you is how to clone your voice. Now this step is completely optional. So InVideo already has a wide range of realistic AI voiceovers that you can choose from. But if you want your videos to feel more personal or on brand, then cloning your own voice is a great option. So here's how you do it. Click the menu icon here in the top left. Then under plugins, select voices. Then click add voice. So you'll need to record a 30 second recording of your voice and during the recording, you would say your name and include the statement, I give InVideo AI permission to use my voice in this workspace. And once you've recorded your sample, you can click choose file and upload it. Next, confirm that the sample sounds good and you give permission for InVideo to clone your voice. Then click my sample looks good. Oh, and don't worry, your voice clone will only ever be available to you and it will never be made publicly available. And just like that, less than 30 seconds later, your voice clone is ready. How cool is that? Click done and now you can use this voiceover in any video you create. Now we're ready to dive straight into the fun part of actually creating videos. So let's click home. And on the top here, we've already got InVideo 3.0, which is the latest and most advanced version. So you don't need to change anything there. That's ready to go. And here is where we write our prompt to help guide the AI. So think of your prompt as the instructions for what you want your video to look like. And a quick pro tip, 
the more detailed you are in your prompt, the better your results will be. So here's an example of a great prompt. Create a TikTok style video showcasing a workout routine for beginners. Focus on being practical and motivating. Use a fast paced soundtrack and a Latin American Spanish voiceover. Here's another one. Create a YouTube short explainer video on how to grow a YouTube channel. The goal is to inform and inspire with a clear and actionable tone. Use an American accent voiceover and calm background music that gives coffee shop vibes. So why do these prompts work? Well, I think because they're super specific. They're giving in video very clear instructions on exactly what we want the video to be like. And I'll be sure to share these prompt examples in the description. So feel free to use them as inspiration for your own. And if you need more help coming up with your prompt, then you can always use these workflows here under the prompt box. For example, you can click on the create short video workflow. You can go through and follow those guided steps and InVideo AI will create a prompt for you. Or if you already have a script you want to turn into a video, then you can just select use my script, paste your script into this box and InVideo will help you generate a prompt based on it. Let me show you how these workflows work. Let's click on workflows. Then we can browse through the insane amount of options here. I mean, look at what they've got. We're talking animated videos, short ad style videos. They've even got like Disney Pixar style, claymation style, Lego, and even anime styles. For example, let's say I want to create a hyper-realistic film style video. I'll select that. And now I can choose how long I want my video to be. Let's go for three minutes. And for the topic, I'll enter something like the evolution of technology through time. And then I'll go through the settings. I'll click background music to specify the type I want. I want something kind of suspenseful and building. I think that would work for this kind of video. Then I'll click language to choose the language. Next, I'll click watermark. So I don't actually want a watermark. So I'm going to hit X to remove that one. And for music preference, I'll leave it as use the best music available and see what AI chooses. So now when I hit continue, InVideo takes all that information I just gave it and then generates a prompt for me. Now that is pretty cool, isn't it? And what I will say is that experimenting is all part of the fun. So don't worry about having to get your prompt perfect first time round. You can always come back and tweak it later as needed. So here's the prompt ChatGPT helped me come up with for my video. I've made sure to make it super detailed and to be very clear on what I want in video to do. So now that's done, let's hit generate a video and then give in video a minute or two just to analyze our prompt and then come up with a script. All right, so now this is our video title. And just under that, we can choose if we want to create this video using stock media so that would be stock images and videos, or whether we want to create this video using generative media, which is where AI will create your video from scratch. Just be aware that if you do choose the generative media option, then you will need generative credits. And now you can choose the visual style, duration and platform of your video. You can even edit the prompt if you want, but I think this already looks good to me. So I'm going to Click continue and then see what InVideo comes up with. And here's our video preview. So InVideo has gone ahead and created a unique AI generated video complete with a script and with captions and used my voice clone for the voiceover. Let's take a look. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Alien ships raining fire on our neon city. We suit up our exoskeletons humming. This is humanity's last stand. Um, energy blast. Oh wow, like I really do love that. Like I must admit it is weird hearing your own cloned voice talking back at you. But I don't know what you think, but I think it sounds pretty cool. It sounds like me. I, I like the whole look of it. I think it's super high quality. It's like some kind of blockbuster Hollywood film. I'm really happy with how it came out. So now we could go ahead and export this video as it is. Um, but I think I just want to make a few tweaks first. So I think the easiest way to do that is by giving AI some additional prompts. 
For example, I do think the voiceover is a little bit too loud. So I will click down here and type this command here to tell the AI to make the voiceover a little bit quieter. Then I'm going to click on generate to apply the changes. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Alien ships raining fire on our neon city. We suit up our exoskeletons humming. Okay, so that is definitely better. Now the next thing I want to change is, I really don't like that background music. I just don't think it fits very well. So let's switch up the background music for something more epic and cinematic. So here's my prompt for that. So now let's click generate. This is humanity's last stand. Um, energy blasts light up the night. The air thick with smoke and screams. But then... Yeah, that is 10 times better. It makes such a big difference. All right, so now why don't we go ahead and try changing the language of this video to say Spanish. So let's enter that command here and then click generate. Now let's have a quick listen. Anoche, el aire denso con humo y gritos, pero entonces, un gran avance. Nuestras armas encuentran su punto débil. La marea está cambiando. Wow, that is me speaking Spanish. That is amazing. Who needs Duolingo when you've got this? And if you ever wanted to undo a change, so let's say I wanted my video to go back to English, then that's really easy to do. I can just hit the back arrow here to undo. So you can keep going with this and change anything you want with the help of the AI. Or you can also do it manually. So you can also click this edit button right here. And here we can see the different scenes that make up our video. And if you click on any of these scenes, you'll see the script underneath. And if you're not happy with your media, like for any of the scenes, then you can choose whether to change it to your own media, which you can upload, or maybe you want to change it to stock media or get the AI to regenerate it. For example, scene three could be a lot better, in my opinion, if there was just more action to it. So right now their soldiers are just standing there, but I think it would look a lot better if they were like maybe running towards something. So to do that, let's select scene three, hit generative media, and then generate new media. And here's where we tell the AI what we want to replace the scene with. So I'm going to say, change scene three to show the soldiers running towards the enemy. Let's make sure to check the scene duration. For me, that's eight seconds. Then select the correct duration here. When you're ready, hit generate a clip. And here's the new scene that the AI came up with. And I'm really happy with that. I just think it looks ace. So let's go ahead and click replace to replace the scene and then apply. And now if we head over to the music tab, we can change our soundtrack if we want to. Um, again, either our own music that we upload or by browsing the stock music library. Also, if you hit this script tab right here, you can view your entire video script and go through it and you can edit it if you like. And finally, on this last settings tab, you can customize your transitions and your subtitle settings and your volume levels. Let's go ahead and click save changes. Okay, so I think now we're ready to download our video. To do that, let's click this download button here. And now for the download settings, because we're on a pro account, we can download without any watermarks or branding. The resolution is already set to 1080, which is good. So let's hit continue to download the video to our device. Now let's let that video render then it will download automatically to my device. And then it's ready to upload to YouTube or wherever else you want to upload. And now let me ask you, why don't you go ahead and share your in-video videos with us in the comments? I'll get things started off by sharing my full video. And I just really can't wait to see what you guys can come up with. And I really hope this tutorial has given you the confidence to dive into in-video AI and make it work for you. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.